in this week's C-Suite segment, we're focusing on the digital tech industry in Sri Lanka. One of the country's largest API and identity management software companies, WSO2, was recently snapped up by EQT, a Swedish-based private equity group. The deal reportedly valuing WSO2 at more than $600 million. That move will help WSO2 speed up its innovation agenda and expand its global footprint. The company's cloud-based and open source software is already used by customers across 90 countries and collectively handles about 60 trillion transactions annually. Let's bring in uh, Sanjeeva Virawarana now, founder and CEO at WSO2, joins us uh, live now. Uh, Sanjeeva, great to have you on the programme. Can we start by laying out the business model behind WSO2? You're a provider of identity management software. How is your platform positioning for uh, generative AI? All right, thank you very much for inviting me to join you. Uh, so generative AI obviously plays a horizontal uh, enabling role across the entire spe product spectrum. So we use generative AI for various aspects of the products on helping developers create APIs, test them, manage them, uh, generating identity flows, various different capabilities. So Gen AI is, uh, is kind of like a thing that everybody has to adopt in the right places, and we do that across the board as well. Got it. Sanjeeva, in terms, if we could look over the horizon, in, in terms of an exit, is an IPO uh, a part of the plan? And could WSO2 be Sri Lanka's first listed tech company? And is that part of the plan to kickstart, perhaps, a virtuous tech cycle and uh, incubators and an in ecosystem in Sri Lanka? Absolutely. Uh, so I started the company in 2005. You know, at that time, uh, one of the biggest challenges was getting anybody to take take you seriously when you said that you live in Sri Lanka and you're going to start a world world competing technology company. Um, and that remains mostly true. So I think getting to becoming an IPO independent company that has a long term footprint and is not meant to go away at some point uh, is very very important. So absolutely, that is on the next. That's the next. Uh, step on our journey. And that I, I certainly hope will trigger lots of other companies in Sri Lanka to build around and also to be inspired that you can actually compete in the world. Being in Sri Lanka and being, uh, you know, having all this uh, sometimes negative association really doesn't matter if you make a better product that the world wants to use. What is the government doing to encourage startups in Sri Lanka, Sanjeeva, help fund and scale those businesses? And where does uh, WSO2 fit into building that ecosystem? So the government has all kinds of programs, but to be honest, we didn't uh, participate in any of those. Government support is useful and important, but at the same time, if you can't come up with an idea that you can pitch to potential investors, and get them to buy in on it and, and put their money where their mouth is, uh, it just doesn't work. So government, uh, the, the number one thing we need government to do is, you know, literally keep the lights on and keep the networking going. And beyond that, as a tech company that operates against the global market, uh, you know, Sri Lanka it, it, it shouldn't become a, a negative force on how we position and how we compete. But beyond that, I, I'm not a big fan of the government being the one responsible for creating, creating much in terms of uh, uh, support because really the companies have to do it. The government yes. does have a very big role in facilitating opportunity for product companies that can sell to the government and public sector. That we don't do it enough of. Interesting. Sanjeeva, then what does EQT bring to the table in terms of not just deep pockets and funding but man management acumen and support? So EQT, so we are, we are still in the early stages. We just signed the deal just less than two weeks ago. Uh, we are in the process of defining our next five-year roadmap along with EQT. Uh, EQT brings uh, a very structured way to uh, create value for the company and then exit in a, in a finite period of time. They, have, they are going to bring uh, an industry board uh, that is very important, an actual independent board that will help the com company uh, go after the markets and help drive the market positioning and so on, as well as obviously the funding aspect, uh, but overall uh, an accountability and management architecture that is very much uh, 
giving and empowering, it's empowering everybody to operate, at the same time holding everybody accountable yes. to deliver value. Sanjeeva, and that, that really sets you up quite nicely, doesn't it, for uh, further expansion globally. And just a little bit about you, just to round off. You're an Uber driver, and you have been since uh, 2017. How do you run a successful uh, tech startup and drive for Uber a as well? And what got you into this? Um, so the motivation for doing that was obviously not because I needed to make some extra money, which is what most people drive Uber for, but it is really because in Sri Lanka, we have this sort of cultural tendencies where we tend to look at people who do certain jobs as somehow not being equal in social status and, and respect and, and mutual understanding. Uh, so I started driving just to make that point, saying, hey, anybody can be an Uber driver. And just because somebody drives somebody else around doesn't mean they're any lesser than someone else. And that was the primary motivation for me to do it. And I don't do it much because I'm not trying to take money away from somebody who really needs that money. But I do it in order just to make that point once in a way to people. And, and you know, when, when somebody who recognizes me gets in the car, they have a heart attack. <laughs> Sanjeeva, I, I, I might uh, uh, tip you the wink next time I'm in, I'm in Colombo then. We can continue this conversation. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Sanjeeva Vera Warren there off a WSO2. Quick break. We're back in two minutes.